Just in time. Alright, we've got uh, right in front of us down below, we've got Clan Wolf Delta and Robinson Ragers moving out again. Kit Fox, Dire Wolf, Shadow Hawk. They also have a Timber Wolf and a Jaeger and a Jaeger. So, one thing we uh, learned on that last match is one of these mechs, i.e., not Joe, is Dual Goss, and Red Eye is the AC 20. So, one sniper, one close range support. On the other side, we have Clan Nova Cat and uh, Star Adder. Alright, here they go. Moving up. Kit Fox again. Oh, I mean Raven 3L's moving up. Executioner up to the pocket. Checking it out. Seeing if anything's there. He's first one. Doing some scouting. Nothing's there. He's moving back. Let's go take a look at the uh, percentages here while we move in. Again, we've got uh, Bob Jenkins rocking out in that dire well. Five UAC5s, four ER mediums. A base full of hurt. That's what that is right there. We've got Red Eye in that dual 20, right? Then we have Not Joe in the... Oh, dual Joe. Not Joe has switched it up. He was rocking a sniper setup, has now moved to LB10s, four, me, four machine guns, and a two medium length his setup, just a little bit. Looks like these guys are going more for a brawler setup. Uh, Arioc is now in a dual large pulse for ER medium. Timber Innocent is in dual fives, medium lasers. And Ziggit Zaggle is an ER peep in SRM6s. He hasn't changed at all. Let's see if the other team has changed. Leo Tib and his Warhawk hasn't changed at all. Mexicutioner hasn't changed at all. Akula and his Mad Dog has not changed at all. And Philadelphia Collins is still in his dual Goss sniper setup with Johnny Blue rounding it out in his Timberwolf LBX, two ER mediums, four SRM6s. And Lucian Nostra in uh, a Timberwolf with an LBX and SRM4s instead. Alright, so we do have some movement. Looks like uh, Clan Wolf is going the opposite direction. It looks like they pushed under platform, pushed over the saddle, and it looks like they're coming down to where basically. Uh, Nova Cat spawn. Looks like they've started noticing this. We've got the uh, Raven moving back, doing some scouting. Yep, they're about to run right into each other. He's got contact. Engagement has occurred. Alright, so we should see some uh, turning around here in just a moment. Let's go drop that off while we wait just for a moment. Alright, so you have both teams flipping around. Engagement's probably going to be going down right here at the train tracks momentarily here comes Bob Jenkins with that DPS build the dire well is about to start doing some work from Jenkins view here we go Throwing it down on the Warhawk. New target acquired. Airstrike online. You can see Leo Tib has taken some hits pretty hard in that Warhawk. Airstrikes going out. Looks like uh, they're being pushed hard. They're trying to fall back. And let's go get an aerial view of what's going on. We've got uh, Clan Wolf, Delta, and Robinson Rangers pressing in from the pass, flanking. And they're pushing hard, and Clan Novacat looks like they want some range. They're pulling up to platform. Looks like they're probably going to take top of platform, which is smart. Keeping the high ground. All right, they got the speed to be able to do so. This Dire Wolf is going to slow things up for Clan Wolf Delta and Robinson Rangers. Red team, this thing, you have to protect it. You leave it behind, it's going to, one, the DPS is going to be out of the fight. Two, is going to be vulnerable. 
That's one thing where the Warhawk does have the benefit is 71 kph of speed. I saw an ERP PC being shot. Raven's uh, pushing up, falling behind. Airstrike's still going out. So it looks like uh, Novacat was able to take the platform. And now you have the two pretty much on a standoff across from each other. Some shots going to be fired across the way. Uh, again, Philadelphia Collins in that dual Goss, whereas Red X and Not Joe in their Jaegers are both close range. One's AC-20s and one's LBX-10s. Not a whole lot of movement. Looks like uh, Clan Wolf Delta is sort of feeling them out. Using their long range firepower. Take a few pop shots here. But we've got the entire team over here behind cover. And let's see, we've got some movement going on. It looks like they're uh, possibly falling back. Repositioning. Direwolf is pushing up Bob Jenkins and Ariok and the Timberwolf with Wub. Let's go take a look at uh, his perspective here. Just take a face full of SRMs on that exchange. UAV's up for Clan Novacat, and it's going down just as quick. Now, we saw this in the last match between these teams. Uh, Clan Novacat had the high ground, and uh, Delta Wolf, Galaxy, and Robinson Rangers had the low, and it didn't turn out in their favor. Got an airstrike going on here. A few damage uh, dealt there right at the extremes. Okay, and Leo Tib has to be careful in that Warhawk. One hit to his uh, left torso, it's going to be gone. Some long range shots with those AC5s, two AC5, two medium lasers on Innocent Killer. Getting some free hits there. And uh, Clan Nova Cat has still got this higher ground. And we got, oh, they're pushing really hard here. Looks like we got a push from Robinson Rangers. All right, stuff's about to get real. Let's go get inside and see how things go down. To Applying that pressure. Bob Jenkins getting up in the face of the Mad Dog. And he is down. Bob Jenkins is down. Two mechs down. Zig Zaggle is also down. Philadelphia Collins and Akula are also down. Lucian being targeted by this uh, Shadowhawk. Right torso is about to go. Left arm is gone. We've got Red Eye is also down in his uh, Jaeger. Not Joe is not doing good. This is the dual dual tens and uh, machine guns, and he is gone as well. And we've got two mechs left. We only got two Shadowhawk and the Timberwolf. They're pressing hard. Lucian is at 30%. There goes the Timberwolf. We only have one mech left for Robinson Rangers and Clan Wolf Delta. That's Innocent Killer, and it doesn't look like things are going in his favor. This is going to go and wrap it up. Again, having the higher ground, it seemed like it gave the advantage. Them pushing in, being very aggressive here. And here comes the Warhawk. Last in just to mop up. 
Legged. And he's down. Wow. Quick fight. There it is. Yep, that was an XL engine you saw on the LB10X Jaeger. Why, oh why, oh why. There you go. End of round screen, guys, for some information. As you can see, things again. Taking the top of the uh, platform, having the higher ground. And when these guys pushed in, um, it just didn't work out for them. So anyways, congratulations to that team for moving forward. Let's go to update the bracket.